Hi, it's Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches. And in this video, I am going to open a swap box. So um, this is not run through the group with Christy, um, but this, um, this gal, Chris, and I have done swaps before. And I'm sure she's done swaps with other um, folks that have YouTube channels and such. And I'm gonna turn this light on a little bit. And um, she contacted me and said, do you wanna do a summer swap? And I said, I will do one as soon as my summer calms down. <clears throat> and now that graduation is done and Maddie's birthday and Jaren's birthday and the end of the school year and cleaning out my classroom and teacher in service and all that jazz is done, I was like, yes, I'm ready to do a swap. So I mailed her out a box. I put mine in the post on Wednesday and um, I feel like, I mean, I could go and double check the receipt because it's in, you know, they give you the tracking info. I feel like she should have gotten it. I got mine from hers, um, from her. And so I thought I would open it up. And as soon as I find that she has um, posted, because she does have a YouTube channel, it's called Hi, it's Chris. I'll put a link in the description below to her YouTube channel. And then as soon as I see that she has a video, I'll put a link to that specific channel. Also subscribe to her. Now she doesn't have a ton of content, but she does make a lot of videos, a fair amount. And she does, um, she's a real cool gal. And so just go ahead and do that. She's just under a thousand. It'd be nice just to get her up at the thousand mark, right? So, um, it's all in this cute cow paper. Um, you know how I, we're the dairy state, even though California tries to take that away from us. Um, okay, so let's see what she has in here. It is very full. Um, so like I said, I'll have a link to her channel and then eventually the specific video. Um, that uh, if she makes one to open it. If she doesn't, I'll tell you. I'll tell you she doesn't. Okay, let me get this up here on my... Oh, she has her own, she has her own paper. I've always wanted my own note paper. A note from Chris. It says, thank you for doing another swap with me. No real... Oh, no headgear this time. Because before she's like, put this headband on for your video. Um, she's like, if I can't use any of this stuff, feel free to swap it forward in another group. Have a good summer. Lots of love, Chris. And then look at that. She's got the llama stickers. How cute are those? I have some. I always forget to use them when I need to. Okay. Some goobers. Some milk chocolate. Of course, all my favorite yarn colors. Um, I'm gonna quick with this. There is a stitch marker Ooh, on the other side. There you go, stop wiggling. And look at this, these are definitely my favorite colors. The same ones that are in Spirit, the Aqua and Teal. Um, this is a Rainbow Rhapsody Teal of Fortune from Yarn Bee. Then there is another tealy colored wild streak. This says it's teal purple. See that? Oh, I even wore teal at this. You guys, side note, sorry, Chris. This dress I got at Walmart. It has these cute little cap sleeves. It's just a plain t-shirt style dress. Kind of flares out with a little skirt, has pockets. It was only $12, so I bought a whole bunch in different colors. And then I'm just gonna wear those most of the summer. So if you have a Walmart, go check their their dresses for just bumming around the house. Here's some cute paper straws. Oh my gosh, my children are gonna love these because they have umbrellas on them. I'm gonna hold it down here and try to open one. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a hit, Chris. You never know the things that your kids are gonna love and then Look at this, you guys. Well, come on, come on open. Oh, it's got a rubber band on it. I almost endangered breaking it. Get up in there. Come on. Look at that. 
And then I guess if I could double twist this rainbow. Oh, whoa, the wind got high. Look at that, look how cute it is. If I can double twist this rubber band, I can use it as a stopper. All this time for this umbrella, but this is adorable. Wow. These are cute. Okay, well that was exciting. I love these. I know my kids will too. And then some chunky. This is my favorite yarn to make uh, hats for second graders in. I love this chunky. It's just the right chunky. Lion Brand has a chunky yarn that's a little too chunky. And then some of the other yarns are not chunky enough. This is just the perfect amount of chunky because then you can make a hat for your second graders or whatever age I specifically second graders. Um, you can just whip a hat out of this in like 30 minutes. I love this chunky yarn. It's my favorite for hats. Um, and then we got like a little notions cup. Put that up here. Ooh, and now we have some, oh, a hook from the hook nook. Now, I have just, I did some research on the hook nook because somebody sent me some of her stickers and I thought that they were their stickers and then I researched her. I'd never heard of her before, but I, she has her own channel. She designs her own patterns. She has cute stickers. I won't even say she has some published pattern books. And I guess she has a hook. This is a real thick hook. Holy cats, which size is it? Okay, so that is cute. I will try it out, see how it works, see how it feels. Cause you know, it. a lot of time these hooks depend on how they feel in your own hands. Some Utterly Smooth Lotion. I rem my mom used to buy this all the time. I remember she used to buy that. And it says, one coffee, two yarn, three speak, in that order. That's it, in the morning, get your coffee, get some yarn, and then you can finally talk. I agree, that is a good order. Here's some more yarn. This is Lion Brand Yarn, Landscapes. A really pretty plum color. That is a very nice color. Here's some Laffy Taffies in the flavor banana, which is actually Flynn's favorite flavor is banana. Um, here is a handmade, oh, there's something coming out of this one as well. Here's some tags from the Hook Nook as well. Um, I have a whole little drawer, you know, those, um, that advent calendar I got from Bella Coco this past winter. I have a whole little drawer that I put these in and you can sew these on the hats for my second graders. So the, their moms and families know they were made. I love these. I did not know the hook nook lady came up with her own little group. Cause usually I get mine from Bella Coco and this is cute. A little pin, a llama pin. And what do we have here? Oh, a tote, you guys. I actually was seeing this at the bottom of the bag while I was looking at the hook nook. I am thinking pretty excitedly about doing something with this. Okay, so do you remember how in the last video or so I was saying how I was gonna get a denim apron and put all my patches on there so I could be like a crafty Girl Scout? What if I just put all my patches on this bag? This is way cuter than an apron. Cause I was like, when are you gonna wear an apron summer? You never cook. I think Chris, I'm gonna use this to put all my crafty Girl Scout badges from Bella Coco on there. I was always so jealous of my daughter because she got to be in Girl Scouts and she gets all those badges. And now Bella Coco is giving me all these crafty badges and now I can have my own. So thank you, Chris, this is wonderful. I am very excited about that. Luckily, I have experience with sewing badges on because of Maddie's Girl Scout times. These are all my favorite colors and yarns, purples and teals. I love it. Gotta love this. And I will love sharing these straws with my children. I'm gonna put all this stuff back in here. As you can see, my crafty corner has gotten away, with, away from me in tidiness. And uh, one of my projects this week, is cleaning out the crafty corner because the last month of school was just a disaster. May was a disaster. And so I'm ready to pick up on June, get in here, organize this stuff. 
I still have a bunch of stuff laying around. Mother's Day card for my son. A bunch of these sitting out here, like a whole stack of them. You guys will be so disappointed in me. This sweater that I was going to make during spring break, it's like sitting here. A good amount of it, the yoke is done. It's just the bottom part and sewn on the applique. I don't know why I'm not finishing that. So this, that is my goal this week. Um, I have a craft project that I've started that I'll show you in another video. And then cleaning out this disaster. <laughs> so thank you so much, Chris, for doing the swap. Please remember, folks, that I will put a link in the description to her YouTube channel. Subscribe. And then as soon as she makes a video with the goodies I sent her, I will post that in there. Well, I'll probably forget. But I'll have her YouTube channel down there anyway, so you, you'll be able to find it as soon as it's up there. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and sharing my videos. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.